Installing a cylinder head is a pretty straightforward operation when you have the proper tools and follow the engine manufacturer's installation procedure. This video will demonstrate how to properly install a CTP C15 cylinder head. CTP offers a great product with our new C15 replacement cylinder head. The technician begins by installing the block plate shim gasket. The block plate is installed next. We recommend that a new block plate be installed whenever the cylinder head is removed. The oil drain back seal is installed. The ferrule seals go next. There are 24 of these ferrule seals and they are installed inside the holes of the block plate. The ferrule is composed of a brass tube with a rubber silicone outer shell. The purpose of these ferrules is to allow the flow of coolant from the block through the block plate and into the cylinder head. The cylinder head gasket is installed. Using a hoist, the cylinder head is gently lowered into position. The technicians take extra precaution by lining up the cylinder head when setting the head on the block to prevent damage to the head gasket. The technician installs a special flat washer and applies a generous amount of thread lubricant to the bolts. The lubricant reduces the friction when the bolts are tightened to the specified torque. There are two different length head bolts on the C15 engine. 10 long head bolts and 16 short head bolts. The longer head bolts go on the outside perimeter of the cylinder head, while the short head bolts go on the inside of the head. Using a speed wrench, the head bolts are first hand tightened. Using a torque wrench, the technician applies the first specified torque setting to each bolt. The bolts are tightened starting from the center bolt on the cam side and working outwards in numerical sequence. The technician first tightens the inner two rows, then back to center to tighten the outer two rows. The cylinder head is tightened in three steps. The first step, the torque is set at 200 foot-pounds followed by the second step of 330 foot-pounds, and for the third step, again, using 330 foot-pounds of torque. This completes the installation of the C15 cylinder head.